So let's talk about, I'm sorry to bring this up, but let's talk about the Ice Bowl. I know you've been asked a million times. The day before the Ice Bowl, it was a, a, it was a cool day, I understand, but it wasn't nothing like a, a blizzard. And y'all were kind of, uh, it just hit y'all by surprise, is that correct? Total. It was 18 degrees the day before when we went, went out to work out. We went two days early, obviously. Back then, we always went two days early. And we went Saturday and worked out, and the field was soft. And Coach Lombardi had put the copper tubing in the field, and they circulated hot water, and it kept from kept it from freezing. Unfortunately, all the places where we had stepped in the soft grass and made a indention, and the next day it was like a, a rasp when you fell on it. It would just take your hat <laughs> right off. Oh, my Lord. Uh, anyway, the next morning we got up, we expected the uh, weather to be the same. It wasn't supposed to come in until that night. Yeah. But it, in the morning, uh, my roommate went down uh, early uh, to have some coffee, and I was showering. He came back up, and he said, it's going to be a bad day, Bob. I mean, a cold <laughs> day. He said it's uh, already, I think it was already nine degrees below zero and 35-mile-an-hour wind, and it, by the time game time came, it was like 20. Two or twenty-three degrees below, and it, I think it went up to about twenty-eight below, plus thirty-five mile an hour wind, which was fifty oh my lower chill factor. And we had no preparation; we had no nothing. I mean, we, no, we, we did have a, a suit that they took a kind of like a long handle underwear that we put on under our suit. But the Packers had gloves; we didn't have gloves. They had a mask that, I mean, a, a yeah gear that went under their helmet mm -hmm. uh, cloth and it, they had this much room and they were cold i know that but we, we sure. were For you. And we're still you know we still came down to the wire uh, oh yeah that. but we were in the quadrant where the pipe broke it had broken when it got so cold and the water had come up and it was real slippery you couldn't get a foothold and I, yeah. I told Leroy, I said, we need to call time out and get a screwdriver out here and dig, dig Jethro <laughs> and me a couple of holes. They're going to run up the middle. They had yep. tried to play just before, and they tried to run it, run an end run, and the running back slid down. And so I knew they weren't going to run wide, and they weren't going to pass. But they ran up the middle, and they they ran a double-team uh, Jethro, and they yep. – they, uh, Mercine was the running back that day, fullback. He was a short guy and heavy and had good balance. And he hit Bart in the rear and kind of knocked him on forward. Yeah. But we, we had no footing. I mean. Oh, was, no. That playing on a sheet of ice, I would imagine. It was really a sad day coming home. I, I mean, it was like we had it won. I mean, it was like, but we couldn't stand up. <laughs> Right. So anyway. Wow.